What's up, everybody? I got some uh, mail here from Sal. Sal is a really good friend of the channel. Um, you know, he's really uh, supported my channel and um, been watching the videos for a good while now and commenting on a regular basis. Just all around a cool person. He even uh, put up a prize with before for a giveaway. So, yeah, Sal is a really cool person, and um, he decided to send some more items my way. Now, the box, I'm not going to actually put the box in frame here just because of the size of it. I actually can't fit it in frame in front of the camera right here, you know, in front of my shelf. But um, it did. the box did take a hit on top, but it doesn't feel like anything was pressed against the top. So I'm pretty sure it's fine. It just seems like they may have put another box on top of this one thinking that it was kind of heavy. But actually, no, there's really nothing right up top. So I think everything inside should be OK. And let's go ahead and get to it. And of course, big thank you to Sal for whatever you sent my way. I always appreciate it. So uh, so we got some bags up top just to protect things. OK, so I see some um, line bags up top. OK, so we have here Suicide Squad dog tags I've never picked any of these up before but I do like the look of them let's see I wonder if it's just I wonder if it's just these four options or if there's more okay I, I mean I would definitely like the Joker one but you know whatever I get here is cool so let's go and check this out and see like I said I would definitely like the Joker one but whatever I get here that will be cool and even though I'm not like a big fan of the Suicide Squad movie, I still like the some of the aesthetics of it, the way that it looked, the character designs and stuff. Oh, and this one is pretty nice. This one wasn't actually on um I don't think it was it was on that packaging, but yeah, you see there it has that skull going on. I want to say that this is actually meant to be oh yeah, this is Slipknot. Okay, meant to represent Slipknot, who um you know, if you've seen the movie, not really sort of a spoiler alert, but not really. I mean Slipknot's in the movie for like five seconds. But um, and it does have just Suicide Squad on the back. But his uh logo design here is actually pretty cool, and it comes with this uh here. I guess it's like a checklist. Let me see. Oh, is this a sticker? Yeah, a Katana sticker there. Okay, again, I, like I said, I like the aesthetic, some of the promotional stuff they did with this movie. Oh, there's a lot of these here. Okay, so yeah, it's 24 all together. A lot of different designs going on. Yeah, these are pretty cool. This is not the type of item I normally would pick up for myself, but I, like I said, I do like this. And um, yeah, I'll have to actually open that up and find somewhere to hang it because that looks pretty cool. Let me go into the next item here. We got a uh, see, it's Batman versus Superman hero clicks. I've never had one of these before. Let me see if they, yeah, got the tab here. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up because it doesn't look like it really shows exactly what's in here on the outside of the package. So Hero Clicks, I've seen these around. I just don't, I'm not familiar with them though really. I've never purchased one before. When I see it's just a very small figure here, we got Aquaman. Okay. Now, what exactly... I'm sorry, I, I know some of you are like know about Hero Clicks, but I don't. I really don't know what this is all about, this bottom here. See, it has numbers going on and whatnot. I'm going to have to read up on this. Like I said, I'm just not familiar with um, this. I don't know if it relates to a game or what. It looks like it says KO. Maybe, it, maybe this is some sort of game, and I'm just not familiar with it. So I'm, I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know what's going on with that but I will check out the package too to see if it talks about this some more but again I'm sorry there loss of focus but um because it is a small item but of course you see there Aquaman okay so yeah that, that's got to relate to a game or something <laughs> nice another one of uh no actually no this is something different I thought this was uh another dog tag at first magnetic metal card okay Okay, so again, Batman versus Superman. I, yeah, I can definitely feel it. Let me go ahead and open this up and check it out. A lot of these small packages, I guess because they just don't have the space, they don't show you all the options on the outside. But that's fine. And we got here. Okay, so it's just kind of a mashup of artwork here, almost graffiti style. See Superman up there. Fear the Bat. <laughs> Luther is our savior. I want your city. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool. Some of this stuff, um, 
you know, not directly from the movie. Probably should have been, though. <laughs> you know, some of this here um, definitely should have been a better representation of Luther. But this actually does have a magnet, so I can put this up on my fridge. That's pretty cool. And again here, it does come with a little slip just to show all the different things that you can get. Okay, so again, some of this artwork here, very cool. Yeah, I'm a big DC fan, even though I haven't been crazy about most of the movies, but still, um, yeah, they, their aesthetics are on point, at least. You know, just hope the storytelling catches up. Now, I do have um, at least one of these, uh, these Deadpool um, minifigures here. And I'm trying to see who is by. It looks like it says Blip. But, um, yeah, I have at least one of these. I can't remember which one I got either. Uh, if I get a double, then I'd probably end up remembering it. But, yeah, I really can't remember which one I got before. But let's go ahead and see what this one is. I like these. The only thing about them is the, the way that they um, stand. You put, like, the little stand in their back, and then it's kind of difficult for them to stay upright. You have to. Be, it takes a little patience to get it in just the right position. Then you got to make sure you don't bump into it either. Okay, so got Deadpool here with the two katanas and he is a bobblehead there even though it's a really small figure he is a bobblehead like I said he has a stand you put him on and then it has the little plastic piece that goes into that hole there in his back so and I won't say anything about the placement of that hole I mean it's, yeah let me just move on but um yeah this one I'm actually not gonna put it on the stand just yet I'll take care of that later on because like I said it, they can that when you put the figures on the stand, they tend to want to kind of tilt to one side or the other, so you have to be a little bit patient with them. Now, I have some Domes figures, but I don't have any from Captain America Civil War. As a matter of fact, I don't think I have any comic book related um, Domes. So, let's take a look at the characters. They do have them on the back of this one. So, they got Ant-Man, big fan of Ant-Man. Ant-Man would definitely be awesome. Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow... Got War Machine, Winter Soldier, Crossbones, and Black Panthers. So we got Captain America, which is cool. And I actually do got a good spot for him right in front of some of my Captain America figures. At least I think there's space there. Even though I've um rearranged some things recently, my Marvel, my main Marvel bookcase is still pretty crowded. But this is a pretty well designed Captain America. And I was trying to see if he's a bobblehead in there, but doesn't seem to be. Or if he does, he just doesn't move. He's in the position he's in. But yeah, that is cool. I do like that there. Okay, and we got some... Let me make sure I'm not overlooking any more of those type of minis. Okay, we got some mystery mini boxes here. Oh, and there's a letter. Sorry about that, Sal. It was tucked down on the side. Let me get. Let me check out the letter before I continue with the unboxing. Um, it says, hey, what's up, FM? Uh, well, here's the goodies I told you I was sending to you. Happy belated birthday, enjoy. Um, yeah, and then it's uh, sound by, signed by Sal. So I will add this to my wall. I do keep uh, my letters and put them up on my wall. So yeah, definitely appreciated this. And um, yeah, my birthday was uh, in August. I really didn't do much for it because I always end up working a lot around that time of year. So, you know, this as a late birthday gift, very cool to me. Okay, um, so what we have here is trying to get some of the plastic out of the way. We have these Spider-Man mystery minis, which um, I'm trying to think if which ones I have. I know I have uh, Vulture. Um, uh, not sure. Actually, I may not have any more. Oh, I got Sandman. I do have Sandman. I remember getting him, um, and I think that one was actually sent my way. So I can't remember if I have any more though. But Vulture and Sandman, I do have those. Okay, so let's see what else we get here. And, I mean, all these look cool. This one feels kind of heavy, so who knows? Maybe this is Venom or Rhino. And definitely a large character. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is Venom. This has got to be Venom. And I could tell because I felt that the tongue there. So, yeah, I like this. That's awesome. <laughs> what a great one to start with. And this one can go right along with my... um. My Venom uh, figure, I got Venom, I have uh, Anti-Venom in the Anti-Venom Glow in the Dark figure, and I have Carnage as well. So yeah, this one will go well right over there. And of course, Bobblehead. <laughs> but yeah, that that's very cool, and I could definitely feel the weight with that one. If you're still um, 
out there hunting those minis, um, yeah, you could definitely tell the weight difference with Venom. Now this one feels heavy too. If this came from the same case, then this could actually be Rhino. Like I said, this one, yeah, it definitely feels heavy as well. So let's see what's going on here. And I gotta say, Sal, you sent way more than I expected. Um, pretty amazing, and you all. And the, yeah, there are a couple more items in the box. So this one here, uh, yeah, this has got to be Rhino. I want to be careful since he has a bobblehead. Yep, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So we got Rhino. Like this is a large figure, but I mean for Rhino, it should be. But yeah, th this is a pretty substantial um, size figure there, though. Okay. Pretty cool. Let me see how big they are next to each other. So, yeah, they're about on par in terms of size. Rhino might just be a little bit taller, but that's partially because of the horn, of course. And I think we got, yeah, one more of those. This one feels kind of heavy, too. I mean, <laughs> Sal must have went for all the heavy boxes. So maybe this would be Green Goblin if... Uh, or Liz well lizard seems like he might be kind of big too so we'll see which if it's all villains I'm fine with that because um when it comes to spider-man characters I really I tend to like the villains a lot more than the the heroes and the uh, side characters and whatnot so um, this might be a double of venom it feels like we got another um venom here let me see Yep, we do, and <laughs> his venom with a, his head backwards. Let me fix that right quick. There we go. So yeah, Sal must have went for the heavy boxes, and we ended up with uh, another venom here, which is perfectly fine with me. I almost wish that I knew how to paint real well, because I sure would make one of these look like uh, Carnage. Oh, look, check that out on the back there. So yeah, very cool. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, that, that's what Sal did. Sal went for the heavy boxes. So yeah, I'll find two different spots for the Venom ones. Okay, so keep things moving here. We got, looks like three more items, I think. Oh, wait. Uh, so there was Avengers Age of Ultron dog tag that slid off to the side as well. Wow, check out that Vision one. Vision would be pretty awesome, but... Yeah, any of these will be cool. So collect them all. 18 base tags, 24 stickers, 6 film tags, 6 foil tags. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we got here with this. Wow, my floor is a mess. <laughs> I'll take care of that though. Okay, so is it two? Okay, two separate ones. So I guess this is like the foil tag. Just says Avengers Age of Ultron. Okay. And do that I'll get to that slip in a second and we have one here it's just the team basically okay so Captain America up front Hawkeye off to the left there got Hulk Iron Man up in the sky Thor and Black Widow so this is really like uh you know yeah the main team from the first Avengers movie without any add-ons there okay so again a slip comes along with it so you can see all the different ones that you can get there. Okay, yeah, like the Ultron one. I, I really wish Ultron had been a better villain. I mean, I liked Ultron, but I felt like he was uh, maybe too jokey, I guess, you know, too comical. And here's the sticker. That's a pretty good sticker. Actually, I still need to get some uh, magnetic um, sheets from like Office Depot or somewhere to take some of these stickers that I have to make them into magnets. Yeah, I really need to take care of that. And yeah, that's a simple thing to do if you have stickers and you're not sure what to do with them. Yeah, I've learned that's something you could do. Just put them on the magnet magnetic sheets and then just make sure you have a, um, I guess a box cutter would be ideal. And of course, if you're young, you know, do be responsible, get some help with it. But um, you could basically cut out, um, you know, the, the shapes of the stickers and you'll have a magnet. This figure here helps me kind of complete a set to an extent. Yeah, I like this. This is a the Walgreens exclusive. Um, I think they I think they called this one also the Golden Midas Batman. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I do have the um the other one that was released at the same time. That gold looks really slick on this one here. 
And you see some other Batman dwarves there on the side. I do have uh, the Batman of Zoran Ra one, which I believe Sherry Stover sent that one my way. Yeah. But that, that looks pretty slick. I do like the gold on that. I'm going to actually keep him in this for right now because I think I kept the other, other one in the box as well. So I'll put these two together. But yeah, that's very cool to have. I did not see these anywhere at all in my area. My my Walgreens, they do get some dwarves, but I hadn't seen um any of those. I have I have seen some DC ones, but just not that those are particular exclusives. So he's got a uh, box here. That shape looks familiar, and then um it feels like it's something in a protector. I'm gonna save this for last because he made a. He made uh, you know sure that he wrapped this up so I couldn't see it right away. So I'm going to wait on that one. Let's check out the other item here. And <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is something I really uh, wanted. Um, I just never got around to it. And then I stopped seeing it in my area. But this is pretty cool. We have the Harley Quinn. You see it says the Harley Quinn. And this is the Infinite Crisis version of her. This is a very cool figure. So much great detail here. I really like it. Um or see Harley Quinn there and she has the pink pigtails going on and she does look different from the normal Harley that is because she's sort of a um I want to say I don't know the whole storyline behind it but I think she's like an alternate universe version of Harley Quinn so you see she has her pop gun which looks pretty different here with the design and then instead of her typical sledgehammer there she actually has a teddy bear tied up to the end of that and check out the shoes there the silly shoes Almost like bunny slippers, but they have the X'd out eyes and everything. Okay, and check out the back of it here. Now there's a detail I know that, I mean the de the um, figure really has more detail to it, but I'm going to keep it in the box for right now. You see it, the way that it can be displayed. And really nice artwork there too. But yeah, um, I've seen this um, in a video before a long time ago. And um, I know like her pajamas, like... She has like the pajamas that like kind of open up in the back and you can actually see I think that she's wearing Batman underwear which is kind of weird but it's like there's sort of a running joke within DC that um, Harley Quinn is almost like a fan of Batman even though she goes after him and attacks him sometimes because she's with the Joker or you know has been with the Joker but yeah at the same time it seems like she's actually a fan of Batman in a way so this is very cool to have I've like I said, this is something I thought about getting before and then just let it slip my mind and then I hadn't been seeing it around. So I really do appreciate this. And then check out this version here of um, Green Lantern as well, Atomic Green Lantern. That arm is crazy. That is a pretty cool design there. Yeah. But, you know, out of the two, <laughs> definitely got to go with this one. Big Harley Quinn fan, so I'll find a good place to uh, display this. And I don't know, I might actually later on take her out of... Um, the box as a matter of fact you'll all find out whether or not I decided to take this out of the box when I get to my collection video okay and uh, I'm just gonna sit her aside for right now so I think we're down to the last item now I didn't see anything else in the box and like I said this very mysterious here let's go ahead and find out what's going on okay. oh my god <laughs> no way no way. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost speechless and I this is something I definitely did not expect to ever have in my collection. Uh, I won't keep you all in suspense, but I'm shocked right now. In fact, I'll say we got, uh, you know, these Spider-Man um, villains going on over here. And now we have Spider-Man, but not quite the Spider-Man we're used to. We got Conan, <laughs> Conan O'Brien as Spider-Man. Oh my God, <laughs> this is insane. Um, I never thought I would have a Conan figure. I, I tried the um, like the raffle thing they had going on, or, or the game that was going on, to try to get one of these um, around the time of SDCC, but of course I had no luck with that. I tried each day that they had it up. Um, I really had my fingers crossed, but you know, I knew that was a long shot, so. I just, yeah, I never thought I would get one of these. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I am a fan of Conan. I especially love his gamer videos where, um, you know, he has a celebrity on and they're trying out a new game. Those are really funny videos. And check out the ones in the set here that came out for SDCC. 
So Conan as Spider-Man, the one I have here. Um, Jedi Conan, the Flash Conan, they got the White Walker Conan, and then um, Mono Conan, which is just Conan, basically black and white style. So, uh, wow. That, that's incredible. I never thought I would have one of these figures. Sal, you have truly um, outdone yourself. And uh, my floor right now looks like it's Christmas morning. So I'm going to have to clean that up and everything. Uh, let me keep my camera right. But, wow. I don't even know what to say. I mean, you see all the items up there as well as, you know, the awesome Harley Quinn figure. This, this is just epic. Really, really epic. Um yeah you all give sal his props for doing something so kind and sal never expects anything in return i keep asking him you know what can i do for him and um i know that he likes mezco figures so um i'll say this sal if i'm out and about in fact i'm gonna go to a uh, player's choice i haven't had a chance to go out there in a while i'm gonna try to go this weekend and i will let you know if i find anything um mezco related out there and if i don't see anything in the store mezco related i'll ask him about that because i have a pretty good relationship with the people there the owner knows me by name and everything so um i will put in the word uh you know and see if they are getting any mezco figures in um yeah i really do appreciate all of this so blown away um i didn't i just like i said never expected to receive one of those um yeah this is incredible um but yeah, this, this is kind of a long uh, video, long, especially for an unboxing, but I think it was well worth it. Some pretty amazing items. You all make sure you give Sal his props. He's he's not a YouTuber. Um, He's just, like I said, a, a really loyal subscriber and um, really cool person. And um, Sal, um, I hope you're watching the video, but I'm going to actually uh, private message you after this recording because I just got to go ahead and thank you. Can't wait for the video to be up. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for um this edition of Viewer Mail. Um amazing um you know and i appreciate everything that people have been nice enough to send my way uh since i've been doing youtube like i said in the last one i never asked for it but it's it always feels good i mean you know it feels good especially when somebody knows you and they really send things th th things your way that you're into it's pretty cool feeling so um uh, yeah i'm on a natural high right now and i'm gonna leave it at that and i will talk to you all again very soon